Somalia has been suffering from, from a conflict since the early 90s. It's been uh, at war for a quarter of a century. Before the war, Somalia was already one of the poorest countries in the world, with one of the lowest indicators in terms of poverty or development. And uh, to this already poor country, now you have to add 25 years of war and of devastation. You have as well the recurrent and chronic uh, natural calamities that occur every year in Somalia. Every year we have somewhere in the country flooding, we have also a drought, and on top of that you have to add the cycle of violence because of the different armed confrontations between different groups. Somalis in this kind of situation that is so protracted are in survival mode. That makes us also, we as a humanitarian organization, having two heads. We have a head that is mostly focused on building up resilience, livelihoods, giving people the means to survive, the ways to survive. But at the same time, on the second head, we have a head for emergency. One thing is having to assist, say, 5,000 persons that had to leave their village with nothing, run away, and they run with they had what, what they had on because there was an attack or there was a flash flood or something. So those ones you have to purely assist, help them overcome this temporary situation of emergency and that they are able to return. But a very different thing is supporting communities that have been enduring war for 25 years. And there we take extreme care to provide them not with food for today and hunger for tomorrow, but with seeds and tools. And very often in many places we will provide also cash. Because there are many places in Somalia where little by little commerce and trade is reviving and there are traders and it's important to preserve as well this this local economy so we'll take very careful approach in doing no harm and not destroying the markets and not destroying the relations between communities that's why sometimes we take a lot of time talking to women in talking to elders in talking to leaders in talking to traders to fine-tune the best way to to support that community and really get them involved in the definition of the needs and get them help us find the best way to assist them.